Hola! Hello! Two different languages, but two words that mean the same thing. Did you know that math oftentimes works like that? We can have the same quantity shown in two separate ways. Fractions can show the same quantity as a percent. Let me show you. Before we get started with our computations, there are a few things that you need to know. A fraction is made of a numerator and a denominator. The numerator is part of a whole. The denominator shows you how many pieces to that whole. The same thing is true with a percent. A percent is a part of a whole, and our whole for a percent is going to be 100%. Keep those things in mind when you look at this next picture I'm going to explain. This representation shows three fifths. I have three parts shaded and five parts that make up the entire whole, so that would be my fraction. But what is that as a percent? Let's go back to our prior knowledge. A percent has to be out of 100. So this whole is out of 100. What is 100 divided by 5? 20. So each part would be 20%. If I have three parts, 20, 40, 60. Three fifths equals 60%. Some fractions are a little bit more complicated and you might not want to draw a picture. So I'm going to show you how to do those using computation only. Let's take the fraction 9 twelfths. My numerator is 9, my denominator is 12. I'm going to set that equivalent to a fraction out of 100 because percent is always out of 100 to calculate. So 9 times 100, I'm using cross multiplication here, equals 900. Let me show you that with circling it. I'm then going to take my product of 900 and I'm going to divide that by 12, my denominator of the fraction. 900 divided by 12 is 75. I did use a calculator for that because I don't know that fact right in my head, but I could also work it out on paper. The second way I could solve this is by dividing 9 divided by 12. Remember, a fraction shows division. I get 0 .75, 75 hundredths times 100 equals 75. 75% 75 is my answer for both 